Hi, I'm Otto from Tom.com and today we are going to look at how to adjust the lower or upper position of a Somfy RS100 motor. And this is different from all other RTS and IO motors. If your rent limits are not right on an RS100 motor, so if the roller shutter runs too far up or stops too early at the bottom, then you can adjust those points. With the RS100 this is done in a different way than you are used to with some of the IO or RTS motors because you have to position the motor in the middle first. With an Oxymel RTS or IO for example you have to run it all the way to the end point. And that's not always possible because if the rudder shutter were to run too far upwards you could damage it. Now you don't want that and as a result you can then only reset the motor and then reprogram the motor to change the end limits. Much more work. Also with the Oxymo RTS and IO, adjusting is only possible if the endpoints are set manually. With the RS100, adjusting is always possible. You can let IO and RTS roller shutter motor set their own end limits, which is very handy if you have stoppers on the bottom rail and rigid connections. The disadvantage I find is that you can then no longer adjust the end positions yourself by going to the endpoint. Because you then have to, if you want to adjust something, reset the motor completely and then reconnect the remote and set the end limits again. Very annoying when it could otherwise have been done in an easier way. With the RS100, adjusting is always possible. So it doesn't matter whether you set the endpoints manually or let the motor adjust itself. Now for the steps. Basically, you repeat part of the adjustment procedure. The first step you need to do is to position the rotor shutter in the middle. So it's roughly in the middle. The next thing I do is press the up and down buttons simultaneously until I get a jog. So a short movement up and down. And as you can see that can sometimes take a while. Now you can choose which position to adjust first um, and I'm going to go for the lower position but you can also start with the top position. So you have to keep the button pressed down to keep the roller shutter rolling and if you hold it for a longer time it will continue rolling and then can stop it when it's at the right position. I can then adjust it by pressing the down button or the up button until it's right. And for me that's here. And then what I do is I press the my button and hold it until I get another jog from the motor. Which is now. So now the lower position is set. I also have to adjust the upper limit even though I just want to change one for example. So again I press up and I keep holding it until the motor starts rolling quickly. Then I can release it. And then I need to stop it at the right point by pressing the my button. I'm going to do that here and then again I can adjust the position until it's right for me. Then what I do is I press the my button, keep holding that until the motor jogs twice. So on the first position it will jog once and when you set the second it will jog twice, which we've seen. And that's it, it's been done. I'm going to check that by pressing the button once. And as you can see, it then automatically rolls down um, and stops at the right position. It also doesn't need uh, any pushing, continuous pushing of the button. So that means it's all set. Now, if this is unclear, if you have any questions, let me know. The email address is info at Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.